Hi, this is Amy with Leap of Faith Crafting and we are launching into our Cricut Design Space um, tutorial section. So this I'm just going to walk you through on how to actually get started when you get in the, a new Cricut and you're going to start designing. So when you go to just Cricut.com, you'll see up on the right side here it says design. So you're just going to click that button and this will pop up. And so um, if you don't have a Cricut account already, all you do is come down here to create a Cricut ID and then this will pop up. So all you need to do is register your name, email. So your email is what um, is going to be your Cricut ID and then a password and hit save. And then that will launch you into this, which is Cricut Design Space, which is an amazing software. Um, it's come a long way from what it was years ago. So if you go up into my projects, depending on the machine you got, there is a bunch that comes with the machine. So you can come down here and like, if you got a Cricut Maker, you can go to free for Cricut Maker and these ones will pop up. So these are all, I made this one right here, the little zipper pouch, which was fun. So when it pops up, you'll see here that it has all the directions on it. So and there's a nice print button here so you can print them out as I did as I was going through it and, and it has pictures that you can hover over and make those bigger. And so then you'll, you can just hit make it and that will bring you to the mats and everything you need right there. So those are if you wanna do ones that are already um, in here but we are gonna start with just showing you the canvas and um, all that you can do with it so so this is called the canvas the canvas is a screen that you're designing on so usually you will go into new and this is what pops up so it's just a place with grids and um, so depending on what you want to do texting I mean using text is the easiest thing to do um, you can click text and just start typing in text here and then up here where your font is will be all the fonts so this for everything in here everything that's on the system um, and your system and then on the Cricut will come up here. So a lot of these um, you will have to pay for unless you're in Cricut Access. So I usually always go to my system fonts and these are all the ones that I have installed in my computer and I have a ton of fonts. And in another tutorial I'll show you how to upload and where to get great fonts. So you can um, change this to anything you want. You can click on here and you see that that, that will turn to hello. So then to like make this bigger, you're just going to click on this on the um, arrow tab and go bigger, go smaller. You can also come up here in the tab in the size. Say if you want it six inches, you can just put six and with the lock on, it will change that and we'll keep it in <clears throat> the proper proportions there. Um, and then, or you can also just do it on your font size. So if you want 52 size font, you can put that in there and that will go down. Um, so those are the main things of kind of getting started with just a text. Um, so images. So a lot of times you will want to bring an image in. So depending on if you have access to Cricut, um, to Cricut Access, you will have um, different things pop up here. So I actually don't have access, so um, you'll see everything that comes up here has a price on it. So if I were to make something, say with this, it would charge me 99 cents when I was going to make it. So, but you can also um, filter, and you can go to my images, the upload ones, if you want, the free images that are in, because Cricut will offer different free images. 
So these ones are the ones that are available right now. So you could um, click on one of these and work with that. If you want to go to my images, I have a lot of images um, that I've uploaded and I'll show you how to upload from Google. Um, but I also had um, the explore, I had the expression a long time ago. So that actually used cartridges with it. So I was able to link all of my cartridges um, with this one. So if I go in into cartridges up here and hit filter and my cartridges, my cartridges, you will see that these are all the ones I have. So <clears throat> say I wanted to use, work with Create a Critter and we'll do something with this cute little apple. So you just click on it and then you're gonna go down on the right side and insert images and this one will pop up. So then you can resize it there. So over on the right side is where you have your layers. So this is an important section over here. So you can see there's a red layer. And if you don't want to see the red layer, layer, you can click this and it hides it. And then if you bring it back, or if you don't want the brown layer there, you can click that and that will go away. So, um, <clears throat> so these are just, because a lot of times, sometimes you'll bring up, let's say, um, something with a whole bunch of layers. Mm, let's see about this guy. So like this one has one, two, three, four, five layers. And you can see they already block off like the very back one, which is just a shadow around it. So if you don't want that one, you can knock that one off. If you're gonna put it, say, on black cardstock, you might not need the black. So you can cut that layer out and that's what it would look like, but then you're missing the feet there. So um, you can always turn off layers and hide them and see what you wanna see in there. So the other thing you can do is actually ungroup them. So this is a group right now, you see it's all together and if I click on it, it clicks everything. But if you go and hit the ungroup button up here, they are all separated. You can see in the layers here, they're all separated. And now if I hit something and I can drag them and I can move all of these around into different layers. <clears throat> so these will be the layers that you'll be cutting. So those are all the different layers. If I want to go back, you can just hit undo or control Z and those will bring them back. And then to group them back together, you actually just with your cursor or mouse, you put a box around them and then come up here where it says group and group them. So now they're all back in a group again and you can change size and things like that. Um, <clears throat> So I'm going to delete these. So say I was going to bring in something. Let's do my uploaded ones. Um, so I have obviously a ton of stuff that I've uploaded. Just wanted to show you something. with more layers in it. Uh, let's see what this one does. Okay, so this one enters as a group. <clears throat> You'll see over here, this is our layers panel over here on the right. <clears throat> and if you bring it in, you'll see these little arrows down here and this is how you can size it. One way you can size it. You can pull that and it will stay in proportion and make it bigger or smaller. If you click this lock button over here, this will unlock it. So then you can make it wider, make it taller, do other things, but that will take it out of proportion. And then if you 
get it where you like it, go ahead and click the lock but button again and that will <clears throat> keep it that way. Another way you can change the size is up here. If you know you want it, say six inches wide, just click six. Make sure that the lock is on up here so it will keep it proportional and that will change it that way. So like I said, this came in as a group. So if you want to change different things in it, say you don't want the blue scoop on it. So you're gonna come over here to the ungroup and click ungroup. And this one I think is grouped quite a few times. So we'll click on it again and ungroup it again. Now just this part is all grouped, so we're gonna ungroup that one. And now these three are grouped, so we'll ungroup that one. So now you see the square is just around the top blue one. So I'm just gonna hit my delete or backspace button and remove that one. So say if you want one of these hearts bigger, um, you can ungroup all of these and then just click on this heart and again, drag the little arrows and you can make this however big or small you want. You can also click on that, delete the star, make that one go away. Um, if you want, then if you want to change colors on some of these, say this blue one, you're gonna come up here and these are the material colors already used. So let's say we wanna make this one purple. So we're gonna click purple and that will change that. And then you can make it bigger if you want. You can even move it around if you don't want it in that area. And then and now if you want to put them all back together, you can either, if this is the only thing on your canvas, you can come up here to the select all tab and click that and it puts a box around it. So now everything is together and come back over here and hit the group button. So now it's back together and if you click on anything in here, it will click the whole box. And then you can resize this to anything you want. So say I'm gonna make a sign and I wanna see how big I wanna do it. I a lot of times will bring in shapes. So over here on the left side, you'll see that there is the shape function here. I'm gonna click on the shape and then like I will bring in a rectangle. So I can bring in a square and say my, um, what is going to be eight and a half by 11. So I'm going to come up here and put eight and a half and I'm going to unlock it so I can change this one to 11. So I can put that in there and then um, I'm going to move this back so I can see it. So you see this arrange button up here on the top. If I send this to the back, then that's in the back of this. So now I can click on this one and then I can size this I can even change, unlock it if I want. This is the unlock function down here. And then I can, it won't keep proportion, but you can make it bigger, longer and wider if you want. So now I know that that will sit on my sign well um, and things like that. So that's, so that's one way you can use the shapes. You know, you can use the shapes to design a whole bunch of stuff and we will get into that later. So um, that is, I don't want to give you too much in the, in the beginning one. We'll do a lot more. Um, let's just hit, see the duplicate button up here. So if you just want two of these, you can duplicate it. And there you go. So you have two two of those. Sometimes say if you wanted just a whole bunch more hearts, you can again ungroup all this, hit this one, and then just say you want three more. So I'll duplicate it three more times and put these around, you can rotate them. If you want to flip it exactly how it is, there is a flip function right here and you just flip horizontal or you can flip it vertical. So depending on what you're wanting to do, or you can just rotate it with that. Another cool thing is this color sync up here. If you hit this, this shows all your different colors that you're using. So say you have this blue and now you want it purple. So you can actually click on this 
and just drag it down there. So now that one turns purple. So if you want all of them the same color, you can just blend them all together and it will turn everything together. So, so quickly, just let's just say you want to go cut this now. So you're gonna hit the make it up here. And you'll see if you do that, it all comes out scrambled. It's not how it was. Um, that is because Cricut tries to put it, you know, to save paper. So they try to put it close together um, if they can. But if you go back, in order to keep these all together, cutting out just like this, you want to hit the select all. So it selects it again. And then you see the attach key down here. You're going to hit attach. And that will attach it all together. So now when you go to make it, it is exactly like you had it. And then you will hit continue and go on to cut. So anyway, I hope that just gives you a quick idea of what you can do in here. We will definitely dive in more and go over all of these function keys down here and what you can do with them and talk about how to actually create some designs. I don't actually use many images at all anymore from in the design space. I upload most of my images or I do a lot of words. Um, so you can see these are all, a lot of them, I uploaded just from Google and you can bring them in here and it cuts it. So it's awesome. All the stuff you can do <clears throat> with this machine. So, um, so anyway, hope, um, hope that helped a little and please comment below on anything you want a tutorial on and I will try to try to make one for you. So we're just going to dive in and try to learn everything we can in design space. Okay. Thanks for watching.